My Kundalini has awakened. So now what? Hmm, that's a very good question. Well, first of all, you have to understand most people will stop at a Kundalini awakening. And most healers actually don't go even as far as a Kundalini awakening because of the fear factors, because it's difficult to do, because it's challenging. It's a bit like most people walk in the snow, but they never learn to ski. Or most people go and watch skateboarding, but they never learn to skateboard. Or most people sit on the beach and they never learn to surf. But just like in surfing, once you've learned to surf on a soft board or a long board, you then have short boards and fishtails and and you can do big wave surfing and small wave surfing. And, and in skiing, you can do piste skiing and off-piste skiing and as your levels raise and as your abilities increase. And so this is why I also offer a course, which is a one-to-one -one course that goes beyond the Kundalini awakening. Of course, this is only for people whose Kundalini has awakened, or unless they do it with me. Because uh, Kundalini awakening, or Kundalini rising, is actually just the beginning. We have Kundalini rising. It's well known, this is the Shakti, female, energy rising, awakened, from the root. Yet one thing you do hear that's talked about, what I'm going to go into later, it just isn't talked about. You, you can't find the information. But the other one that's talked about is the Shiva energy falling. Now, of course, logically, if the Shakti rises from the root, where does the Shiva fall from? The crown. So once, this can happen normally if you're working on this. Now, if it's spontaneous, who knows how it happens. But if you're practicing this consciously, so you're controlling what happens to you, not leaving your fate to chance, normally it will be your root that rises first. And then the second, the second, not the last, will be the opening of the Shiva energy, where the energy comes down the spine. This can be, now some people say, Kundalini is the same as Christ consciousness, and other people say, no, it's not. If you read the texts about the milk and honey, that is the energy going down the spine, not up the spine. So you could argue technically that Christ consciousness is not actually the Kundalini rising. It is the Kundalini falling. It is the Shiva energy. It is the male, male energy. And that is where the crown opens. And of course it opens in two directions, just as the root does. But the sensations you have running down the spine is it comes down the spine, hence the falling, hence the masculine. Obviously, Shiva is the destroyer to create a new. This can also be a likened to one of the problems, and this is why we have Kundalini syndrome, dark night of the soul, etc. When you awaken, the kundalini from the root of the chakra and it rises up the spine. If you have not dealt with your mind, your ego, when it hits the mind and it starts to open and crack the mind, if your mind is not malleable and subtle and can go with the flow easily, 
this is where your ego or your mind starts to fight with the rising energy. And this is where the dangers of Kundalini lie. If you're working on the Shiva energy, of course the same will apply. It is the destroyer for new creation. It is the fire that burns out the old, that spreads across the forest for new life to grow. This is why it's better to have the Shakti go whilst working on the mind, everything's nice and prepared, then to awaken the Shiva energy for it to go down, almost destroy everything that's been going on to then grow anew. So the question lies, if, if that happens, if you raise the Kundalini in Kundalini Awakening, this is very advanced stuff, this is not for most people. And remember, if you, if you like these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, leave the comments. But we're getting to a point that even to find texts for public view, now I'm not saying you won't find texts in Hindu temples, untranslated in Buddhist temples, you won't find texts about this stuff, because you will. And there are a few texts and a few systems that talk about things like this. But they don't talk about it directly like this, in simple terms. But so once you've risen the Shakti, you can crack the egg, you can create so the Shiva falls and destroys a new, to open up to new creation. Where does that energy get created from? Well, the chakras. So, Shakti comes from Kundalini, the fireball, yeah, coiled. Some people say, oh, Kundalini is a snake, Kundalini is a snake. Kundalini is not a snake. Because the Kundalini is a coiled serpent-like energy at the base of the spine. It's not a serpent. But it's also translated Kundal, fireball, ini, female. Female energy rising from the fireball. Yes, it is symbolized as a snake. So when your Kundalini has risen, the symbology of the snake in Egyptian symbology, in South American symbology, in African symbology, in Indian symbology. It is a symbol, but it is not a snake. It's got very little to do with snakes. It's, yeah. So, once we've risen and the Kundalini has awakened, then we can open to the Shiva energy, it falls, destroys to create a new. Then the energy from all the chakras can begin to open and connect and create something very, very different. Now some people, this might happen spontaneously. This might happen naturally over many, many years. How do we know when we are starting to connect beyond just Kundalini awakening? Well, there is a side effect that happens that you can find in some teachings. It's not explained very well. But it is your spine becomes almost magnetically charged. And I'm not saying magnets as in metal magnets, but it come, becomes magnetically charged. And so you start to become stuck to things. Now, whether you get stuck to the floor, stuck to a tree, stuck to a chair, it doesn't matter what you get stuck to, but it's, 
you are drawn backwards and you are forced backwards and whatever you hit, that's what you get stuck to. Literally, physically, and you can't get off. Now, obviously you have to work this, be comfortable with this, be comfortable with this feeling for this feeling to subside to move further. So again, the vast majority of people, to 99% of people don't have, or 99.9999999% of people don't have Kundalini Awakening. The tiny percentages that have it, 99.99999% of them, will stop there. Once they feel this magnetic thing and they're getting stuck to things, 99.99999% of people through fear will stop there. So it's a very, very tiny proportion of people that are ever gonna want to do this. But that's why, if you are interested, I do offer coaching a course to go further, to go deeper. And because it is so exclusive, yeah, I can't offer that at the cheap prices that I offer at all my other courses and my other coaching. Not the point. But so you have to embrace all these, whilst these energies are not as dramatic as a Kundalini awakening, once they connect, that magnetic pull is quite dramatic. It's quite, what the hell is going on? And it will scare a lot of people. Once that magnetism, you have become accustomed to it, this is where some very interesting things come along. And this is where you will be able to embrace. Now with your Kundalini awakening, you will have probably acquired some of the cities. If not initially, the more you practice, the more you stay aware, the more you stay connected, the more certain cities will awaken. Yet when you get to this level, even more of them wake up, more of the things to figure out, more of the things to control. So it is more and more and more and more. How far does this go? I can't tell you. Why can't I tell you? Because I don't have all the answers. But what I can tell you is being at that stage, it is a very interesting stage to be. If you wish to do that, I'm not going to plug it again. Most people, or a lot of people, won't agree. They will be like, no, 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 Kundalini is a snake, or no, Kundalini awakening, you shouldn't do it. It should be, as I said, 99.99% people, percent of people won't get there for one fear or belief or whatever, some constraint of their mind. But for those who really wish to do this, will eventually find their way, hopefully. Because they say, well, if it's meant to be, then I'll find it. Possibly. Sometimes, not always, unfortunately, and they're stuck for another cycle trying to find it. But hopefully this video will reach at least some of the people that it needs to reach so they can do this. Now, this is really advanced stuff. This isn't stuff for the general public on YouTube. But I am making this video just so you can be aware that Kundalini Awakening, it is an awakening. It is the dawn of the day. It is not the day itself. It is the first time you ski down a ski slope it's not expert skiing off-piste. 